Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video where I'll be playing out the Char 2C. Now this uh, part right here that I'm recording at the moment is actually the post battle me. I forgot to do a pre-intro video so we might as well take care of it now even though technically this would be taking place after the final clip that's already been recorded. Yeah, we'll go with that. So I am playing out the Char 2C, which is basically, I will a Char FM 2C, which is basically the behemoth from Battlefield 1, which is, um, uh, it's a very good tank uh, at its BR, and even if it does get up tiered by, to, by like, what is it, 0.7? uh battle rating to 3.0 even up until 3.3 i'm pretty sure it'll do decently well although everything at 3.3 and above if it sees you it will one shot you uh it sits on the tech tree at this rank right here or at this spot right here it's already ranked 2.3 it sits right after the b1 bis right before you get to the m4 a3105 so it sits at a pretty decent spot on the tech tree uh this version though is uh the long barrel version of the char 2c bis which is the heat i believe or a high explosive yeah, it's high explosive, uh, the mile 1915, uh, so basically you have a very decent tank with a howitzer, basically, and then you have, uh, that same decent tank with, uh, no, customization, with a long barrel gun, uh, it is a 75mm APX Canon D 75mm model. Uh, 1897 which fires a if I go back to the modifications tab a 55 millimeter armor piercing high explosive shell now throughout the throughout the the clip uh, I underestimated the gun and well the gun and the round I did not think I would be able to penetrate anything at 3.3 or 3.0 to 3.3 because I did see let's make it let's do a double check yeah 3.3 I'm pretty sure we saw the Panzer F2s and we definitely saw Panzer 1s Panzer 1Js uh, there was a Stug at one point I'm pretty sure uh, there was a Puma as well so yeah and also uh, Martyrs and uh, Panzer Jaegers all kinds of uh, very very bad things that uh, you don't want to see because they can pin you from the front. You have uh, a lot of crew. Uh, you have, I think it's, oh, where is it at? How many crew members do you have? You have 12 crew members. So, uh, you know, um, well, mainly what uh, you'll see happening in the clips is the front section will get penetrated and everyone in the front will be gone and it'll just be the rest of the crew in the back left. Uh, there's a lot of people piled up in this one location. You have your driver, your two side machine gunners, which I don't actually know how to get to uh, work. They, there are two machine gunners on the side, but not too sure how they work. But uh, you have your front machine gunner, then you also have your uh, gunner, your commander, and your loader. Now, there's also something going on with, I'm pretty sure these are air vents to help keep uh, air circulating into the tank they uh, they are spinning so if you see that that is what that is I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's not the commander's hatch although the commander does sit right here uh, he, they, the commander sits like looking inside of that little spinny thing it does spin at a very high speed so I'm not sure if it is the commander's hatch or not but yeah this is basically uh, I would say get this tank if you want to recreate Battlefield 1 and you are fine with getting up tiered against uh, 105 Shermans basically because that's what uh, what you'll what you'll see happen now I did play through the games without a fully upgraded tank I upgraded the tank as I went through so the first match had nothing the second match I think I got one or two parts the FPE and or no the uh, repair and FPE and then after that I 
started getting a whole lot of the other parts done such as the horizontal drive brakes and then finally the engine and transmission in the last match so without further ado with uh, this post gameplay commentary I hope you enjoy well actually no I'm pretty sure I said that in the last clip I don't know well we'll find out well without further ado on to the video okay here we are Oh look, an independent. That's cool. That's the British land battleship. Now I am completely stock, if I haven't already said that, uh, depending on when I said it. Hey look, you've got a little SRAM thing at the bottom. Man, I'm massive! I'm basically like the USS Midway compared to all these small tanks. Alright, sorry little, little thing. I'm so sorry little tank. <gasps> Little SRV. Now that thing is actually pretty deadly. So you 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 stay back here. You, you stay back here with me. No, where are you going? Come back, Orange Joe. They can't handle your firepower. Same with that uh, 75 millimeter M3. Oh, I'm like so slow. Yeah, this is practically the battleship or uh, this the battleship Midway. Imagine a world where the USS Midway was a battleship and an aircraft carrier. That would be uh, actually a pretty interesting world. Now, I don't know what these spinning things are. What are these spinning things? Is this um, the air vent for the tank? No, not, not my tow rope. That's the last thing I want to turn on. I think that's where the commander sits at, but it's... Uh, oh, uh oh, we have inbound, or we have enemy tank spotted. Rotate the gun up. I think it's a squeezy boy. It is. It's it. Okay. Oh, this is, uh, this is interesting. Okay, there's got to be some more of them somewhere. I wonder if anybody went that way. Top tier, usually people go that way. Yep, somebody's over there. I just got hit. Oh, man. Now, I don't know uh, if I'll do more than three battles with this thing depending on how well this one goes because I am completely stock I might stay completely stock just because to give myself a uh, disadvantage uh, I don't even have repair kits so because I just I like just straight up bought it and put it in a lineup uh, from researching because I researched this with the EBR no not the EBR what did I use to research this thing with squeezy thing my gunner was my rear gunner would have been useful there oh there you are got him oh there we took our first hit first big hit our track is out I don't know where from though had it been from this way I don't know there somewhere though. I'm not sure that squeezy tank though is gonna be looking at me though I'm pretty sure yeah there you are Okay. Oh, I know where I'm being shot from. I'm being shot from right there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right there. The ho it's a hogo, I think. That's a Stuka too. Nope, I'm out. Oh, there's a ho row. Oh, you got both of us. Dang. Well, since I've got the plane, uh, you know, I probably could have just went on ahead and did to put a backup on that thing for the ground. Hmm. I might do that. CR714. No, actually, I don't think I've ever flown this thing out. No, I have flown this out in the very beginning when the French... Fr when the French... When the French tech tree was at it, I flew it. I have access to ground ammunition, I'm pretty sure, don't I? Yeah, ground targets. You gotta research to the 20 millimeter unlock. Alright. Now, there were people pushing our spawn. I remember seeing that on the map. Let's go for whatever that is right there. Since we do have the ground ammunition cannon round.
should be right there, right? I hit it, but it wasn't enough. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see a whole bunch of things. I critted it. It was a SDK Puma. Oh no, it was just the SDK up. Okay. Well, on to the next one. I might do a backup for the ground. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright, something's telling me we are at 3.0, maybe 2.7. I see a Sherman 105. Although that's Italian Sherman 105, isn't it? No, it's a French 105. Oh my gosh, I'm just climbing a mountain. Didn't even realize that everything is going to be faster than me, so I'm just going to make a straight beeline for the uh, C point. Now, since we are at, um, recreating Battlefield 1, I guess, I went on ahead and brought out the F22, F222.2, the bomber, because I'm pretty sure a version of that, or, well, not that version, but something similar to it was in Battlefield 1. So, might as well take it out. We still have the fighter, but I might swap the fighter out. Uh, it depends. Depends on what happens. Now I'm going to be the last one to the to the fight. Yeah, I think I've been up tiered to 2.7, 3.0, and M10 just killed our martyr. See, so yeah, I've definitely been up tiered. Oh, radiator's out. I don't know what it is. I saw it, but I don't know. Oh, well, I'm out. Chat. Okay. N22. Okay, they're on the back road. Uh, it's probably going to take me another millennium to get up there, so... Uh, let's go for a bit of a drive. Got him. It was a Sark. <laughs> I saw the, the muzzle debris from it. I didn't know if it was driving when it fired or if it was just sitting still, but it was sitting still. We finally managed to get one kill. Let's see if we can't get two. Now, I am a massive thing on the battlefield. They can see me from orbit, probably. Also, is somebody right here. I'm, I'm sure of it. Oh, yeah. There's nothing I can do against a Sherman. Yeah, <laughs> an M4A1 Sherman, not even a Sherman 105 of that. Alright, well, to the next one. Let's see, did I get my tier? I might have gotten my tier. I've also spawned on the wrong side of the map. Yeah, do I have a backup? I'm pretty sure I don't have a backup. No, no, I do have a backup. I have three backups now. Okay, he must have gave me two backups in the last battle. I don't even remember. Yeah, a backup for this thing is 200 Golden Eagles, so... Yeah... I don't think, uh... I think once all of our backups are out, we're not going to be purchasing anymore. We do have three. We'll probably use another one in this match and might play one more match. Not too sure. Is that a tank down there? I think that is a tank down there. I'm going to get off the main road. Oh yeah, that's a tank down there. Probably bit more than 800. Pretty sure I hit nearby where it was at. I would have preferred to have been on the that side of the map, but you know. What was shooting you, little little tank? I'm pretty sure there's no action left for me. I've, I've, I'm too slow to do anything. There's a tank over there, though. It's gonna see the top of my tank before I see it. Oh, it's a pan panzer. Uh, it's, it's a panzer. What can I do against the panzer other than just look at it? And there goes everyone in my turret. Next is be my turret ring and my gun. 
Oh no, I, I managed to kill it. Wow, okay. Okay, so I can kill Panzers. It's just Shermans that I can't kill. I don't think you can see over the top of that. Thank you. Okay, the thing that was in there got murdered, got knocked out. Nope, too low. It's a Sherman 105. Why well, would you look at that? And an M22. Two very deadly tanks for me, at least. What in the name of... Okay, I guess it's a good thing he bombed right there, because I would have never thought to look this way. Come on, put around in the gun, unless the Ho-1 gets it. He did not, but I helped him. It's still a matter of the... 105 Sherman and the M22, which is over this way. Oh, I saw one of them. I see two of them, I think. There's the Sherman. Nope, too low. Did he try to bomb me? Uh, well, I'm out of it again. Yep, I'm out of it for good this time. Unless I can get my gun back up. And gunner. There's an M8 behind him, and it's not doing anything. <laughs> the M8, you're looking at them. You're looking at three tanks. I'm pretty sure that first shot the M8 took, it completely missed, because I saw a, a heat round, or like a high explosive round, fly over the top of my tank when I was zoomed into the scope. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. That Panzer has moved over to the other side of the field. There's also an M22 in front of me, which I don't think knows that I'm right here. Got his transmission. Aim down a little bit. I think he's right there. Yep. Aim higher. Nah, I missed. Where is it at? Where is that M22 at? Right there. I don't even think I hit him with that. Panzer's a bigger target. Got him. I'm gonna back up just so that thing that's right there can't get me. Let's see. About right there. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye to me, that is. Okay, I should be able to get my gunner back before opening oh, my knees out of it. Okay. Start repairing. I just lost my rear gunner. Got one. Are you have me repair. Are you waiting for me to push up? Okay. All right. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna uh, push full speed, flank speed ahead, as much as flank speed is in this thing. Alright, there's an M22, there's a Panzer of some type, and there's one other thing over this way. There's a Stuart somewhere as well, which also crossed, I don't know if it went left or if it went right. Oh, I'm dead. 
And he, he didn't even pull out of that, okay. Alright, we're almost to the battlefield. But, there are two planes up. I don't know if they're both fighters or not. That looks like a fighter for sure. No, that's like an Avenger. Alright, I'm going a little too fast. Uh, let's uh, loop around this way. Uh, do I have a bombing reticle? I do, okay. Oh, there's a cockpit for this thing. I don't remember that. Huh, I don't see anyone. Oh, no, I see someone. I see more than one. Dang. Ah, this thing is too cumbersome to, to do anything with. Okay, that TPF. We're going to go for him first, and then we're going to go for... Alright, the TBF went down to the friendlies. Perfect. Okay, now I can straighten myself out and look at anything on the battlefield. If I can spot it. I see a T-17. I think that's what that's called, or is it the T... T7, T17, I'm not sure what that, the British Antier, the Staghound. Okay, I'm going to employ the, the bombing without using a reticle. Let's see if I can't hit anything though. Got him. Oh, that was a Dam Daimler, Daimler. Might need two for you. Got him. Alright, now this is kind of a low pass, and they're, I'm pretty sure this has machine guns. Now that was too far away. Just a hit. I'm gonna go back around. I think that's the Grant. He's machine gunning me. He is still in spawn, but he's machine gunning me so he can uh, get a bomb to his face. Uh, I think that was the last of the big bombs. So now it's only the small bombs left. Did none of those bombs fall out of the bomb bay? No, they, they fell out of the bomb bay, it's just they didn't do anything. There, I was too high up when I did it. Alright, well, back to the airfield. Oh, we won! Haha! <laughs> Perfect. Let's see if I'm at a decent tier. I may be at a decent tier. Not sure. Hey, look, a German uh, Panzer. That's cool. Don't see those very often. Alright, come on. Rotate. Sorry, you're gonna have to wait till I rotate this way. Are you really trying to go on the side of me where the rocks get narrower? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, you could have went the other way around me. Okay, you said thank you, so now I feel like a bit of a douche for doing that. We're not giving enough room. Oh, the, our entire team is going on the back road. Interesting. What is a ZU-232? What is that? Why, and why is it way over there already? Oh, it's a Russian. Oh, it's that auto cannon Russia has. Low tier. Okay. It's already at the sea point. Almost to the battlefield. It'll probably be another two centuries before I get there. But you know. 
Oh, okay. Well, we're, we're at the battlefield. I'm starting to see stuff in front of my view. All right, it didn't take us that long. Just, you know, four centuries to get to the battlefield. As you do with land battleships, you know. Can't go too fast, or else you make the world shift around. And I don't want the world to shift off its axis. Let's see, can I get that guy if I stop shaking? I'm gonna guess right there. I'm correct. That's about almost 700, probably. Almost 700. Uh. Oh, there's somebody over there. Okay, that's a job for me. Oh, there's a lot of things. Reverse, 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 reverse. Show me that French reverse speed. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything to a three inch gun carrier. Not unless I get a much bigger gun. I'd have to be on their side in order to do anything to them. But that SG thing, it's doing getting getting work done. Oh, that was a steward. I can't even get the barrel out of it. Oh, there I go. I think that's a panzer. Yeah, I think that's a panzer. Alright, three-inch gun carrier. One of them's down, at least. Or are they both down? Oh, they're both out of it. Alright. Let's see, can I range find that? Oh, it'll take like a millennium for that to range find properly. Did I, that's where I shot him at? Yeah, about 600 is where I aimed for it, yeah. Oh, okay, apparently something can knock me out from the sky. I don't know what it is, but it just strafed me really hard. Keep the gun pointed this way in case that panzer. Oh, that couldn't have been a more perfect shot if I had hoped for one. Rotate, rotate, rotate the gun. What is that? Let's have a gander. It is a hurricane. It's a sea hurricane. That makes sense on how it's able to knock me out. Okay, what's this uh, moving across the field? And does my gun have enough velocity to reach it? It is. Or it, it does, it did, it can. If I aim right there, maybe? Nah, I missed it. Uh, what's that, I wonder? And can I move yet? I might be out of it. Yep. A swordfish! I just got bombed by a, a seaplane. No, oh, that looked like it was pretty close. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's something over here. What in the world? It's a puma. Now, if I look that way for the Crusader, the Puma's gonna push out and get me. Okay, the BT-7 is going that way. Alright, come on, rotate, rotate, rotate. 
Oh, Crusader is out of it. Never mind. Puma is also out of it. Good. Now we sit here and wait. Thank you very much, Sherman. Now we gotta go for B. I'm just gonna go straight across the open field. Oh, they're on the C point now. How many people are left? Oh, they've got a lot of people left. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, the BT-7 can get A, and we can get B. And all we have to worry about is C. Which I might cut in for C right now, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna cut for C. The 105 and the... Well, I would say the other thing that was over there. Would be able to handle it, but one of them just got knocked out. Oh, it was a 105, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go for C. Alright, I finally made it closer to the, to the C point, and... Okay, thanks for showing me up, T-28. Yeah, you're faster, but I've got more armor than you. Remember that. Also, they're in our spawn right now, I just realized. And, okay. Wait, did you get it? Or is it still alive? I oh, know you got it, I think. Or was it already gone? I've been driving for so long. And you're just gonna capture the point without me all right I'm gonna go for B I'm just gonna like just drive over the top of this mound come on I know you can do this you're meant for this oh okay apparently there's a vehicle right here wait hold on I've got this that's probably my second kill no that's actually my third kill Okay, surprise, surprise, I've gotten three kills in this thing. <gasps> Don't flip! Okay. Oh no, there's somebody on the C point. There was somebody on the C point. A Wellington just killed whoever was on the C point. Thank you, enemy team, for being helpful. Okay, now I'm like all turned around and confused. I just got shot in the back by something, it bounced. I don't know what it is. It's gone. Is what it is. It's gone. It was removed from existence. Two planes up. So if I were to spawn in the uh, the bomber, oh now there's only one plane up. One crashed. Uh, I'd say I would help you, but I have no rear gunner. So plus the rear gunner can't even aim up that high, anyways. Looks like a Spitfire. Could be a Hurricane. Let's have a gander. What is you? You are a Hurricane. Sea Hurricane. That's probably the Sea Hurricane that killed me earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going for the Sea Point. You gotta give me time. I'm slow. This tank weighs too much. Oh, uh oh. Oh no, just keep the momentum, keep the momentum. I'm I've almost flipped this thing twice now. Uh something's right there. Hide behind my dead corpse. Ha <laughs> ha Thank you, Wellington, for flipping my dead body. So now I can figure out what's shooting at us from where they are. Oh, okay. Uh, it's right there. It's in the mouth of the... Well, I'm out of it. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, and there we have it. The final modification researched for our 2C, and there's now 2,242 research points left, so I don't know what it's going to go into. Uh... I have no idea. Uh, this thing is p a pain to drive. Although fun, it is a pain to drive. I mean, uh, from me coming from Battlefield 1, that was like a 
major game that I used to play back in the day. Uh, when you got the behemoth, you knew that there is nothing, nothing could stop you. <laughs> uh, unless, uh, of course, people had the uh, recoilless rifles, the uh, the eight anti-tank guns. Then, uh, you know, you, you should uh, probably try to stay out of their sight. But the, the 2C does well. When you get a, a battle rating of 2.3 and below, uh, you're fine. Anything above 2.3, 2.7, and 3.7, like 3.0, that's when you're going to have a bad time because uh, everything is going to one-shot you, whatever you see. Uh, if it sees you first, of course. Now, you can knock out um, anything you see uh, if you aim properly. Like with the Panzer, I didn't know that I would be able to uh, knock it out, but I didn't give the uh, the 75 the... Um, I didn't give the gun or the round uh, enough credit, I guess you could say. The APH, it, it did actually fairly well in one-shotting a majority of the Panzers from a front angle-ish. Although most of the time I was aiming for the lower plate or the lower part of the tank to knock them out. It did decently well. Although, yes, you are massive, you are going to be slow you are going to take forever to get to the battlefield even with the engine upgrade because the uh, as you saw the filters was the last thing that I had to upgrade and it took me a good three minutes to get to the C point from me separating from that 105 on the last match on Carpathians it took me three minutes to get back to the to get back down that valley and to even get to the C point and that 105 died respawned in a plane and was already at the battlefield like knocking out tanks so if you want to have a different kind of fun I recommend the T the the 2c uh, if you want something that uh, you can meme with then the 2c is your tank but if you want something that's gonna be a, a good fighting vehicle I'd recommend just going for the uh, the b1 because it has the ability to uh, I think it's actually much faster than, uh, yeah, the max speed is 28 kilometers an hour. The B1 is much better for a 2.3 vehicle. Uh, I would say just skip over it, although uh, you can, you will probably play it. You'll see this thing in the tech tree and you'll, you're going to want to play it. So, yeah. But without further ado, that is going to be it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, my pain and suffering although technically I had some I had fun in this thing even though it was the slowest thing on the battlefield I could probably walk faster in a swamp being frozen over in the winter time than this thing can drive down a, a, a valley in a straight line so yeah without further ado uh, that's gonna be it for today's video I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one bye bye now